take a quick minute to thank LG for sponsoring this video. So they sent me the LG Stand By Me Go to review and I'm so excited to be opening this up. This is the first impression of it. Guys, we are living in the future. This was so easy to set up. I just opened up the case and I just adjusted the screen. The stand is very flexible yet sturdy. So you can either watch things horizontally or switch it and make it vertical. And, oof, it's touch screen. Okay, so it's got a lot of the apps that are familiar. We've got my Netflix, my Hulu, my YouTube, HBO Max, all of that goodness. But it also even has like games on here. You can also set up voice recognition, which I think is a cool perk. What's really impressive is that you can literally take this anywhere you go and be entertained. Like you will be the life of the party, bring this around. As you can see, there's this like turntable feature where you can hook up your phone to the Bluetooth and play music. You can play your own jams. So it becomes kind of like a, like a digital record player. There's also eight screen savers to play depending on what you need. Like look, I can just put on some relaxing crashing waves while watching the sunset. And the thing is like, you can just like leave this out as a statement piece. And the sound is crazy. This whole back panel is a speaker and it uses Dolby Vision Atmos. This is freaking sick. I'm so excited to be using this throughout the week. If you guys are interested in the LG Stand By Me Go, I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box. So pop it open. Yeah, so cool. Whoa, it's actually really tight. It's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take a little trip under the sea, shall we? Wow, I know, Lenny. Wow, it looks really good on the screen. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Good. How do you select music here? Oh, we use, you could use, oh, it's by Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Is it front of the camera? They would probably be a little different. Hard to match. So let me try it. You guys, oh my God, I feel infinitely better after my workout and my stretch because let me tell you, when I woke up this morning, I was just not having it. it I was just more sensitive, more prickly, and I looked at my Natural Cycles app and boom, I am in my luteal phase. Ever since I gave birth to Lennon and I got my period back, I was like, hey, let me start tracking this. Especially if your periods are regular, there's a way to track your fertility days. So it's divided in four categories. We've got menstruation, which is when you're on your period. You've got your follicular, then you've got your ovulation, and then you've got your luteal phase, and then it just cycles all over again. And each one of these phases, it can determine how you're feeling because the, the female body goes through a lot in one month. My PMS symptoms aren't like physical at all. It's all mental. And I feel like that's why it feels more insidious sometimes because if I'm physically in pain, then I'm like, oh, I gotta take it easy. But it's hard to trust my mind sometimes because I, I have to catch myself being like, why is something that usually doesn't piss me off pissing me off right now? And then I'm like, oh, I'm in my luteal phase. It's really, really crazy. But either way, I got my workout in and now I feel great. My 
Brooklyn and towels came in for the guest bathroom. So I feel like you guys don't really see this room very often, but this is the guest room. Basically, where my mom sleeps. I got the organic rib towels. Oh my god. Oh my, it's, it's literally so big. Holy cow. I'm in a big blue phase right now. Is it just, is it just me or is everyone just collectively enjoying the color blue? Thank you. A couple of pies for you, love. This one is a salmon and haddock fish pie. And this one is a fish pie. And the fish of choosing is salmon and haddock. They're basically exactly the same pies. <laughs> we just had loads of salmon and haddock and wanted to use it up because they're good for leftovers as well. Mm. They're kind of like a quiche a little bit. We were just talking the other day about how a quiche would be nice. The thing about it is that like, you can just throw your leftovers in there. Mm. Like... Oh, Ma, do you want some pie? Yeah. Who, who did it? Ben made pie. Ben? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, so I like, I like that was the question. <laughs> the, the goal is is for Amma to say I am very impressed. When she says that, you know you've made a good meal. So let's put it to the test, shall we, Amma? Sometimes it's just perfect. This watermelon, well done. Ben used his intuition because he doesn't. We we both don't know what constitutes a good watermelon outside. No. What? I just kind of looked at them and just what felt right. The one that looked the healthiest and it was like a good rich green and mm. I have no idea what to look out for. But it just felt right and it worked. So use your intuition in life, guys. So tonight, your girl's got some plans, which is really exciting. I am heading out to uh, dinner with my friend Kelly. She is moving to New York, which is so sad. So we're gonna have like a little one-on-one -on -one dinner and then we're gonna go to a show. My friends are having like a concert at the Shrine, which will be really freaking fun. It's electronic music, which is just like my genre at the moment. Like I love electronic music. There's something about that consistent beat and the ins, 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 that just speaks to my soul. Not all of it, obviously, but the lineup tonight is pretty freaking sick. I gotta figure out what I wanna wear. I have, this is like the outfit that I, like I, th I theoretically made up in my mind, but I don't know if it's actually gonna look good because in theory and reality are two diff different things. I'm also gonna ask Oma for her opinion on the outfit because she is known to be very blunt and honest. I don't know if this is gonna be a good decision or a bad decision. Oma is just sitting here in the bed. Yes, and I wear my outfit and wear Oma's words. Is it beautiful or not beautiful? Okay? Uh, I'm honestly. Okay, uh, honestly. Okay. Oh, so Why? Why is it so so? Okay, oh, macho. Oh, I think the black looks better. Oh, oh, okay, Oma has spoken. Oh.
I was 12 years old when I listened to the timeless classic, Perfect by Simple Plan. Finally, an anthem I can belt out to describe my crippling need to have everything appear to be in order when I certainly did not. Because what 12 year old does? So for those who don't know, Dana and I started a Substack. It's called Friends Forever. It's basically like a bi-weekly newsletter about friendships and just any topic that we want to talk about. Um, addressed to like loosely addressed to each other and also for you guys to all read and enjoy This was just like a perfect way for us to work on a project keep in touch and to strengthen that skill that writing skill I think there's something extremely intimate about words I actually feel like what you write is more more intimate than what you say or what you show in a picture and I think it's because with images and videos, there's a lot to distract you from the message. You know, I can wear on like a crazy outfit, I can put on some music, I can distract you with a bunch of graphics and, and any, and just like basically kind of sh like hide myself by layering all this extra, extra fluff. But with words, it's either, your message is either clear or it's not. It's either interesting or it's boring. The thing is like, I feel like I'm on this endless quest to become a better writer. And even though I do write every day in my journal, I think in order to level up from that, I have to write something that people are gonna read. And I don't think that Instagram is the correct platform to put long text in. Uh, I also fucking hate writing on my phone. So Substack is just a wonderful platform where it can house all of our entries and Danny is a phenomenal writer so it's nice so yeah so you'll always hear from us two times a month I'm like really stoked on this project if you guys are interested I'll leave a link to our substack uh, down below so subscribe if you're interested <laughs>
just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. It's from our car dealership. Yay! Okay, let's open it. Can you please file that away? Perfect. Can you file this away, please? Fantastic. Now this, this is important. I have to keep this in. Dada's back. Listen to some nice music as we eat some nice dinner, huh? How does that sound? Great. Right, buddy. Wow. All right, for dinner we have pasta and some broccoli. Couldn't plate it very nice because it was a very hectic dinner. <laughs> it's good. What was your favorite part about today, buddy? Uh, 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 you read books, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So tonight we thought we would start watching the show The Bear. Have I don't you... know anything about that. No, you have, you have no context? Well, I just know that you know, or you've been told that it's good. Yeah, by multiple people. That's as much information as I have. I don't know anything else about it other than the fact that it's based in a restaurant. Kind of like Anthony Bourdain vibes. Oh. Just kind of like manic so it's got kitchen to do vibes. With a bear. No, no. Okay. Or I don't know actually. Maybe they cook a bear. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they cook a bear. <laughs> I don't know. This is actually really nice to watch it in bed, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Sounds good. The sound is incredible, isn't it? Very good. Freaking amazing. I had no idea. I just thought it was just the back. But yeah. It's, it's the whole speaker. Mm -hmm. And so it almost, and the thing is, it almost creates like a wall of sound. It mm -hmm. cocoons you because it, it does. just, <laughs> it, it does. It, yeah. You're one with the, the briefcase. <laughs> we just finished the first episode. Mm. <laughs> Thoughts and feelings. What do you think? It's not a very good bedtime show because <laughs> you're just constantly on edge. You're inside the kitchen. Yeah. And it's tense. I mean, anything to do with the kitchen is pretty stressful. All right, uh, after okay. all that chaos, nice little sleep now. Yeah. Good night. Good night, guys. Off in. <coughs> Slam. Down.